I'm talking to cats. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. Cheers, Leon. Cheers, G. Love you so much. We're starting this flight off right. Good vibes only. <gasps> <laughs> You're too funny. <laughs> Good morning. Quite literally woke up in Dubai. It's around 9 a.m. which means it's around 4 a.m. really and I got minimal sleep the main thing is the ocean got some sleep it was a six hour flight and she slept I want to say five hours which is insane we're really lucky because there was a spare bed behind us so she was gonna be sleeping in bed of me on the flight but we were really lucky because the cabin crew were like there's a seat behind you that's free if you want to just let her have her own bed and then you can spread out so it was a good time anyways welcome to the dubai vlog here we are i look gross but it doesn't matter we're gonna do a quick room tour this room is stunning i'm so excited i'm teaming up with rick sauce for this stay I don't have to do this video, but I wanted to vlog it anyway. I'm just working with them across Instagram. And I'm just pinching myself that this is life. And I get to bring my family away to a stunning hotel and destination like this. I just can't believe it. And I actually have spent my own money on Rixos Hotels. They are a favour of mine. I've stayed on the Palm before, but we are on Jumeirah Beach. So I'll give you a tour. We're about not actually look around, but here we go. Bathroom to start off with. Front door's here. Come in, we've got a bath, which I'm so happy about. I love a bath and it's so good for the baby. Toilet, shower, and then here is our room. Here's the team that I've brought with me. Here's my favorite person. Hi, baby. Was you so good on the flight? You were so good on the flight. <laughs> you were so good. So here's our bed and then this is the main showstopper. This view is insane. Insane. And Georgia and Leon are on the palm, which is just over here. So, like I said, I've stayed on the palm at the Rexos. I've only ever stayed on the palm. I think this is my fourth or fifth time going to Dubai. And Cass has actually stayed in this area before. I'm new here, but I'm excited. I've heard good things. So, we're going to sort ourselves out, freshen up, and take you along on this trip. <laughs> and Cass is stupidly tan because he's been away. Not all of us get two holidays in one week. Huh? 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 <laughs> Hola. It has been the full day one. I'm just getting ready for dinner. And if you've seen my holiday vlogs, you'll know that I have this really weird thing and I just can't vlog day one for some reason i just really have to get my flow find my bearings just figure out today was just like fight through the tiredness and right now i'm semi whispering because cass and ocean are asleep but they do need to wake up in 15 minutes so we're gonna try and stick to the uk time as much as possible for ocean's nap sleep schedule kind of thing but <laughs> i know it's not gonna be as easy as i thought i have thought this whole time that dubai was three hours ahead it's four which might not seem like the biggest difference but in my head it really is such a big difference the thing i think we're gonna find the hardest is if we're sticking to uk time keeping her asleep in the morning till 11 a.m like she's not a teenager obviously we need to get to breakfast crack on with the day and sorry the light is not that great i've got my light this is the best idea ever by the way if you have one of these like tiktok alex earl mirrors you need to get this, the little suction pads to put underneath but yeah basically we're figuring out the sleep as we go 
and right now it's like quarter to seven so this is the time roughly she'll be waking up from her final nap at home as much as she slept quite a lot on the flight it was still not a full night's sleep for a baby anyways i'm doing a little bit of makeup so we literally just chilled around the pool today like i said got our bearings and now we just want to kind of figure out where we are i've not actually ever stayed on the marina in the marina on the marina so we're gonna have a little mooch we were gonna go to dubai mall and like take the ocean see the little like aquarium and see the burj but i don't know what's going on with dubai traffic i've never I don't, I don't remember it being this bad but it's saying it's gonna take like an hour to get there and i just don't want to sit in the car again for an hour because we literally sat in the car for an hour getting from the airport the traffic was crazy so we're gonna just kind of stay put we were gonna meet up with georgia and leon but i guess i can say this basically georgia doesn't know she's getting she's gonna be engaged this time tomorrow she's gonna be a fiance and obviously she doesn't know and i'm honored that we know but that's her story to tell but obviously i have to kind of address it because it's happening tomorrow and yeah so this is why everything's kind of up in the air because we haven't made like solid plans to see them because we've kind of just let leon plan his trip with georgia and we don't want to give anything away because technically speaking leon's been like let's me out for drinks tomorrow to celebrate but i just know georgia so well like she will be on to the situation if she's like wait why are these plans like being arranged i don't really know about them so i'm just kind of acting all coy and just like oh get a going with the flow i don't know what we're doing but we were gonna go to the mall together tonight we're not doing that so maybe they'll meet us i'm not sure but we've both got half they've got full board we've got half board so we don't want to waste the food situations either that's a little update in a really rambly nutshell but anyways weather's stunning and i will properly start vlogging tomorrow i mean it might take you long tonight how much battery i've got quite a bit of battery actually but i'm so excited to just get in bed to be honest and have a full night's sleep i have had like a little tiny cat nap around the pool today and then cass had a longer one and now he's asleep and i had a little nap just before him as well so i've got a little bit of energy but just living off like two hours sleep so I'm gonna finish this makeup and then we will see where we go. And I've only bought really dressy outfits. I don't know if any of them are appropriate to walk around the marina, but we'll see. Here's my outfit of the night. This is just a simple black bandeau from Topshop on ASOS. And then my party pants, which I love. These are from, <laughs> guys, it was a black flip flops, by the way. The wedge makes them a tiny bit dressier. They ha literally have it on us. Um, or heels. I just don't want to wear heels. I don't know why I need to pack any black sandals. Kicking myself. But yeah, these trousers. Well, they're actually jeans. They're from... I picked them up the other day when I went to the Primark showroom. And they come out... Well, they'll be out by the time you watch this vlog. But they're a sneak peek of the new Rita Ora second collection with Primark. And I love them. They're just the best shape ever and they're just a little bit more fun than normal jeans and that is me we're gonna go grab some dinner in the hotel and like i said we're gonna go out for a walk so much power these lights wow we're gonna go out for dinner and then we're gonna go for drinks and have a little walk around the marina can you make your new music what's up uh, you do it you do it Stop now, you gotta show up. We've met up with our other halves. Where is she? Babysitters. Oh, they're cuddling. Oh, taking selfies. <laughs> Here we are. I don't know how we've ended up at a fun fair, but we've come down to the. Wait, is this the marina? This is JBR, I think. JBR. Is that next to the marina. Literally, someone's gonna tell us where Five, we are. Yeah, someone. Can you tell where we are? <laughs> yeah. Let us I think know. It's the background. I never get over it. It looks like a green screen. I know. I know. And it's getting like more and more like built up. Yeah. Yeah. 
but we've ended up in some bougie fun fair really. Where we are, the boys are uh, probably gonna be wanting to win something for ocean, but yeah, you know when you're in your hotel and you feel so much aircon, me and Cass were contemplating bringing out like a jacket. jacket. Which when you said that made me laugh because it is like Cass is like grab stuff. the blanket for ocean. She's drooping She's, bless yeah, her. The thing. sweatiest baby on air. But our flight was so hot as well though. Did you feel oh like God, that on the it plane? Was. It really, really was. I was like, what? No, because if they win the, one of them, what am I doing with it? I know. What I am know. I doing with it? No. Please. Imagine. Can we book another seat please for this toy? Good morning. It's proposal day for Leon. And he's text Cass saying that he's really nervous. Bless him. Oh my God. I feel like we should be thinking about them all day because we're not going to see them now until their fiancés and Cass keeps saying what if they're not going to be fiancés <laughs> she could it, I mean there is a possibility she could say no I mean I know I'm 99.99999% because she talks about getting engaged all the time but you never know she might have a freak out and just say no but panic hypothetically but I went to the gym this morning so Cass was in charge of getting there on my face and he's actually smashed it and I've come up with a massive spot this morning which is just amazing isn't it but he secured the goods we were kind of over that way, over this side yesterday, and because the buildings obviously are so big around here, we were just in the shade like all day, which is great for ocean, but we didn't see any sun, but we've kind of got a shaded section here, which is good. Choose fast asleep, fan on, living the life. Still got all the pool around us, this is really good. There's actually a little like beach club bit here as well. And yesterday we went to go in there because hotel get free access, but you're not allowed kids, which is what we're learning very quickly here that maybe just to make anyone aware if you've got kids, there are quite a lot of restrictions when it comes to kids. Last night we spent a good hour and a half trying to find somewhere where we could get in with Ocean. And it's fine, you can get in, but it's so strange that you have to almost sit inside at the back. It's just their law here that babies, kids aren't allowed in and around alcohol. I mean, it just felt really bad because we met up with Georgia and Leon and we don't want to be ruining, not ruining, because they were like, this is no way ruining it. And I know it's such a first world problem, but yeah, it was just a struggle to find somewhere where the boys just wanted to have a beer and we just maybe wanted to have like a cocktail or something, but it's fine. We ended up in this like American diner thing and the boys got their beer, but. Anyway, it's gonna sunbathe for a little bit. I've got on this really cute bikini from, this is Los Vasallos collection with Fall From Reckless and I got it on ASOS, I love it. I'll lay down and show you. It's really cute, quite a few bits from that collection. I really, really like it. So I'll link some down below, but I'll check in in a little while. She's gonna gulp some water. The gym here is insane as well, it's so big. Hello, big girl. Wow. Can you show me how you do kicking? Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Yeah. Never girl. It's so funny when we put our sunglasses on, especially Cassie's skiing one, she doesn't recognize us. She looks at us as if to say like, wait, who are you? Boing, boing, boing. Wet. It's wet. It's me. It's me. I've hit you like her. It's me. beat this Sunday. But we're just gonna wait and hope and pray that she said yes or that he didn't chicken out. Those are the two options, I think. Oh no, th third option is obviously they're just in a love bubble and that's fine. But we will um, be meeting up with them a bit later anyway. You wanna show your outfit? This outfit I've got on is from ASOS. If you're on my group chat on Instagram, you would have seen this because it was one of my options for Aisha and Jack's. Okay, the light's dead, good. Let's turn it on quick. 
It was one of my options for the engagement party, but just thought it was a little bit more of oh, a light Dubai, you know? So here we go, long skirt, it's like knitted material, it's actually really warm. And then this like slouchy top. But to be honest, Ocean's outfit is the cutest thing in the whole world. Can I show you our outfit, Baba? Look at this girl's outfit. It's got shells all on it. Little top and shorts. It's my favorite thing to have her in. And this is from Primark. Pick this up. Oh God. I picked this up in like, when she was about two months old and I knew we'd be going away in the winter and it's really hard to get baby, well, it's hard to get someone clothes in the winter, full stop, let alone for babies. <gasps> so we got this when you were tiny and I just love it. I wish I got it in more sizes so that it lasted her for ages and ages because I just think it's so cute. And with her name being Ocean, obviously the shells are just so cute, aren't they? Anything you want to say? Anything you want to say? It's so cute and we've also matched the space buns <laughs> to the outfit as well because trust me we've got every colour haven't we girl? Every colour! Go on, come on, you've not spoken this vlog, you said you've been on holiday vlog. Introduce yourself, where are we? Cheesecake factory. We've come to the Cheesecake Factory! Whilst we went for a Georgia and Leon bubble spot which by the way they um they run us and um, I'll show you the screenshot. Oh my god. We can barely hear them on the on the um No I know how annoying but as soon as I um, screenshotted the FaceTime froze and we just had to text because I just don't know why it doesn't work out here. But she looks so happy and we're so excited to see them but yeah they've just she texted me, they were supposed to have dinner like two hours ago and she was like we've been literally bringing everyone and basically just enjoying the bubble but we needed to come to the mall anyway so we are in the mall and we thought we'd come and get a cheesecake because it's rude not to and I've got a little mocktail strawberry decorate because I love their drinks in here oh so good well and then I've got a Oreo cheesecake I don't know I've ever got anything good for him Tal said he's got to try it come on what's your one? Like it. Nice. More of a cake than a cheesecake. What mine or yours? Really good, thank you. I mean, I've not tried it yet. My boyfriend tried mine. Mm. Oh, I do wish I could go back and retaste it for the first time ever. Nothing ever hits like the first time you do something, does it? I'm sorry, Bobby. You can't have this. <laughs> what did you have for dinner? You had baby chili con carne. You love it. Look at you. <laughs> oh, whipped cream. Your daddy spoils you. Oh. Yeah, sure. <laughs> outfit today. Oh. Oh. You look so pretty, my little strawberry girl. How you feeling? Look at them teethies. You can really see them when you're smiling. Say another day in paradise. <laughs> I'm just going to chill, oh my god, this morning and then later on we're actually going on the boat trip that Georgia and Leon went on last night and had their little engagement. But we're obviously going separately because the whole point, I can't remember if I said this, was that we originally, myself and Georgia were planning this boat trip and then Leon had obviously planned to propose to her and wanted it to just be them two. Oh, obviously. So I had told Georgia that there was no babies allowed and we just knew we'd just do it the day after. So we're going to go on the boat tonight, aren't we? To watch sunset. It's your first yacht. Seven month old on a yacht. She's gonna be seven months in two days time. And I've actually done this boat trip before. It's not, I wouldn't say it's a boat trip. It's just like watching the sunset out by um, the palm. And it's 
beautiful. It's nothing like it to buy sunset. She's picture perfect. So very excited for that. Daddy's just gone upstairs to get your dummy, hasn't it? So you can have a nap. And so far so good. Kind of sticking to English time zones. We're trying to let her lay in as long as possible in the morning. Because obviously the earlier we get her up here, she's going to be waking up so early when we get home. So today she woke up back quarter past 10 and was so grumpy because of it, weren't you? She's obviously used to sleeping into 11, which is seven at home. But we're going to end up missing breakfast. And also we wouldn't end up getting a sunbed around the pool. So quarter past 10 is the latest we're going to get with you. And then she's been going to bed about 11ish here. Well, dozing and then by the time we've got to get in a taxi, she's probably going to bed a, uh, probably about an hour later than normal at home. But it's fine. It should be small adjustments that we've got to make. And then today we're gonna do more swimming and chilling. And then boat time. So we've just got on our boat for sunset, which I'm so excited about. He just explained where we're gonna go. I think we're gonna go like around the outer perimeter of the palm mainly. And like up by Atlantis, which is funny because we're actually gonna go to, well, I think we're going to Atlantis, the new one tonight for dinner. So we're heading around that way. Maybe we'll see Georgia and Leon because they're on the farm. And we'll head out to the front of the boat. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Once we get a little bit further out, but I just thought I'd vlog the first bit whilst it's not windy, but I'm excited. Same. This is, this is what you want to do on this trip, isn't it? Cash loves a boat. And this is Ocean's first boat. You might fall asleep and miss it, you know, she looks tired. Ocean. Are you excited? Are you on the boat? Yeah. yeah. And you love the lady on the boat, don't you? There's a lady on the boat. Ocean is obsessed with her. What a lucky mummy and daddy we are. <laughs> I was at the wrong place at the right time. Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes. We were conversing. Hello, buddy. In the <laughs> When you took my hand, said, let's leave now Don't wanna be shy Whoa, what is this? I zoomed in Don't wanna be shy to dinner but we literally went on the boat I kid you not right down there and we ran back to our hotel I got bubble in my throat we ran back to our hotel had about a 10 minute turnaround I literally did a whole new full face you can't even tell but I was so windswept have you ever been on a boat and your hair is so tangled and knotted because it's honestly so windy we had the best time. I literally got no footage because we were just taking it in. Ocean slept and the lady on the boat was so sweet. She was like, go on, go off, go chill. Like, I'll watch Ocean. Obviously, we can still see her in Ireland. But yeah, it was just the nicest time. And now we're at Asia Asia. So we've come back to the pier. The view is incredible. And this is one of my favorite restaurants ever. Look at my drink. Oh, it just tastes like a porn star. That's brilliant. It just tastes like a porn star. And Cass has got a beer. And this is us and this baby girl. Hey, baby. The best baby girl in the world. Hey. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying yes to this. One sec, let me clean my palette. I'm going to try chicken. I just think it's unnecessary. <laughs> Doesn't taste of anything. I kid you not, it's got no taste. Chicken's overrated, you lot. I don't know if you guys know this, but I've not eaten chicken since. Well, I've never had, to be honest. Never. Right, before we start, 
Thank I have something so to say. <laughs> Congratulations! I actually got it. Because I can't believe it. Because I've had like a few weeks to process. But oh. I keep doing Thank this, you. guys. I keep, I keep She's that handed, guys. I keep like doing this with my hair. I just can't. Oh, Catherine, please don't be the one that comments. The news is finally out. Oh my god! Oh my god! Please, <laughs> <laughs> can't believe the world finally knows. <laughs> I know. Months of knowing. <laughs> to be fair. To be fair. You knew, well, bro. To be honest. I must be that person I did know and she said I did a very good job of not she giving did it away. A very good job. She's it been was so quiet. Me. And there's been convos that other people have had around us about marriage or something, You've never given anything away. <gasps> I'm so excited. To um weddings, love, Dubai, friends Dubai, and vibes. sunshine and happiness. And diamonds. And the best looking <laughs> couple on the island. Is oh. it an island? Country. No, it's country. It's definitely it's not. Country, it's actually city. <laughs> To the best looking couple in the city. I told you it's on the plane, yeah. We love you guys. Love you, we love you guys. Love you. Cheers. Love Cheers. And to Leon having great taste in rocks. <laughs> Rub off and cast, please. Cheers. And, and, uh, and a Cheers. minus bank love you. account. Yeah, <laughs> to Leon being broke. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that man? She's seen the camera. <laughs> 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 By the way, we are at the new Atlantis where Beyonce performed. It is stunning. Incredible. We actually were supposed to have dinner here tonight. Wow. But it was just my bad. I basically was just way too late. They were like, can you do in like two days? And we were annoying and going to Abu Dhabi. <laughs> but it was we came an for a drink. to come back to Dubai. And I would Dubai is now going to be your new special place. I know. Do so we have to come all the time? Let's come all the time. <laughs> but I would, I would come back like this. I'd recommend it for a drink. Or if you oh, want to just come and look at the hotel. The hotel's stunning. insane. Just come and stand in the lobby. Just go in the lobby, literally. <laughs> I'm not over it. I'm Neither never I. getting over Neither it. I. We're engaged. <laughs> A new day, a new hotel. We are in Abu Dhabi now. Should we get the maroon tour? This one is so noisy today. All of a sudden, she seems to have found her voice. So we've just got here. We are in Abu Dhabi, and this is, I think it's called the Marina Hotel. Stunning little setup. Very, very cute. And nice big bed. Lovely big bathroom. Big bath. Love that we get baths because of this one now. I like a bath myself, but it's always good for you. Shower. The Rictus robes are just the best. <laughs> They're not like itchy towels. They're really soft. And then we've got a balcony here. Here's the balcony. It feels a lot hotter in Abu Dhabi. It's really strange. And here we go. And the beach that's stunning. The beach is actually the other side of the hotel. But we're going to go down and suss everything out now and have some food. Be home. I might have been home for I don't even know what day it is at this point. We've been home about four days. Life has been manic. I just wanted to not even pick up the camera for the last couple of days. We was only in Abu Dhabi for three days, and I just thought we're not doing much. Abu Dhabi is so like out on its own. It's so opposite to Dubai. That's probably one reason why it probably would have been nice because I feel like I have got a lot of DMs saying, would you recommend Abu Dhabi? Stuff like that. Personally, for us, we much, much preferred Dubai, but it depends what you're after. Like, if you want to go away and literally not see a soul, not talk to anyone, I don't know. We love Dubai so much, so that's just my personal opinion. And then, yeah, we just decided we're going to just literally do nothing. We did nothing for... The three days that we were there and then we just came home and from there i'm like kicking myself a bit and you might have seen my story i'm toying with the idea of even getting a video editor it's something that i said uh, it's not that i don't want a video editor i just feel like youtube's the one place where i don't know i just feel like i need to hold my hands up and just say like i need help it's the platform I love so much. I love all the platforms, but YouTube, I feel like it's more intimate. You guys are my friend, you understand. And it's more of like a deeper relationship. The other apps I feel like are a lot more like a highlight reel and like just the peak parts of your life. And 
I just don't have the time to sit and edit like a like editing takes me ages a because I procrastinate b because I just I'm just I just do here there and everywhere and it's just so hard like not to be like oh it's like my life, like my life's so hard because it's not but at the same time I am across all these other platforms and I've got to get my work done for my other jobs as well and it's literally you probably are so bored of hearing like content creators saying this but this period right now November December is the busiest time of year like honestly I'm so grateful for the work but I'm also literally swimming in work at the moment washing life baby stuff like the only time I can pick up the camera at the moment I feel like is when someone has ocean and my nan has ocean right now and I can like actually think like oh my god like what do I need to do logically and it's probably like the fourth hour of me being on my own today and this is the only second I've had to pick up my camera because it's been like the end of my list of things to do anyway i'm waffling massively what i'm saying is i don't want to let youtube slip and i feel like i have like it's been like nearly three weeks since i've uploaded that it's so unlike me and it upsets me because i just love youtube so much so that's why I, wow the longest version of me saying i want to maybe try and have an editor just so i can get more stuff out because this three week thing it's not it's not a vibe i'm not i'm not into this and then it gives me a chance to yeah upload more vlog more put more into my other platforms as well i feel like my tiktok slipped off a little bit as well i'm just really beating myself up but at the same time i'm so beyond grateful for anyone that watches anyone that waits for my content anyone that checks in on me it means the world and also again i think i said at the beginning of this video but opportunities like this this kind of vlog being on holiday gifted by the hotel is like beyond i can't get my head around how little old me gets to do things like this still to this day and it's because of you guys so thank you so much thank you for being patient with me and i'm gonna fix up whether it means getting help <sighs> but we'll catch up soon i'm gonna do a i want to say a weekly vlog but at the moment it's literally just the most boring and kind of stuff i'm doing like i can't really feel myself getting all this content but i'll make something work we'll check in and i hope you guys are all doing well i love you hope you are having a great november so far it's nearly the end of the year it's the quickest year of my life i can't believe it like i have a seven month old baby Whew. i'll see you guys in my next one